Hey y'all, welcome to Not Just Roommates, and in this video we're going to share three things we wish we would have known before we got married. Okay, friends, the first thing we wish we'd have known before we got married was the personality type. Mm. Okay, I know that doesn't sound very sexy, but honestly, if we could rewind it all the way back to the beginning, we would want to know this one thing. Yeah, we didn't know our own strengths and weaknesses, let alone, you know, one another's strengths and weaknesses. And embedded within our personalities are clues for effective communication. We discovered our greatest fears and what makes us feel safe yep. and even accomplished. Okay, so our marriage was in a decline toward divorce and what turned it all around was the Lord. Okay, that is to say that the <laughs> Lord was working through our counselor who gave us our tests and explained the results and all of a sudden it was like, oh, ah, right, the heavens opened up and come find out what we've been hurt by, it wasn't that intentional. Yeah, it was the result of clashing personalities. And our suggestion is that you consider taking the DISC, D-I-S-C, personality profile test, but not the little free one. Get the one that you have to pay for because it's gonna give you a full report on how to communicate with someone else's personality types and then to understand your own. Okay, so the second thing that we wish we would have known before we got married was, when to talk it out. Mm -hmm. We both held our tongues too often. Too many times we would held our thoughts for too long. Yeah, see, healthy bodies eliminate waste. Mm -hmm. Your body consumes many things and then some things just aren't useful. But you and I both know that if you hold it in, mm -hmm. you're gonna implode or explode. Mm -hmm. We don't, we want, don't that. want that. We don't want that. So many marriages are suffering because their lines of communication are dysfunctional, right? So if they say something, it comes out the wrong way or at the wrong time or their spouse's reaction demotivates future conversations. And so listen guys, we've created a lot of videos on this, on communication, and so make sure you click some of these links and you watch our videos more extensively on communication. Yeah, over time, as we understood our own personalities and improved our communication, it made the process of dealing with issues before dark possible. Yeah. Meaning we don't go months, weeks, or days at a time holding in what we really need to talk about. Yeah. What we've come to discover is that most times there was a misunderstanding. Yeah, and so if you want a healthy marriage, listen to us guys, you need to implement number three. Mm. Realize this principle, counseling is for everyone. Yes. Okay, we have mentors personally that are poured into our marriage and if we've had problems, we pursue their wise counsel mm -hmm. and I'm not talking about unqualified buddies right. that became my complaint <laughs> in the amen corner or something yeah. like that. We're talking about seasoned couples who model excellence and maintain healthy marriages. Yeah. So we didn't get offended if one of us requested wise counsel from those mentors. Okay, so while going through marriage counseling, and while learning about our personalities, we didn't place gag orders on what our spouse could divulge mm -hmm. while we were being counseled. Yeah. And so we were open and, yeah. and we were open to professional counseling and it helped us. So whether you feel like you're in a healthy place or in a rough patch, please hear me. We all need wise counsel. It's not just for people with problems right. or extreme issues. Yeah. Okay. And one of the reasons we schedule regular appointments with the dentist to maintain dental health, right? But through their wisdom and x-rays, they may see something that needs to be corrected and we wouldn't even know if we wouldn't have gone. So mm -hmm. sometimes it helps us to get an outside professional counselor, all yeah. right, or perspective. Okay. And counseling is for everybody. So having said all of that, make sure you guys click like if you liked it, subscribe to the Not Just Roommates channel if you want more resources like this and share it with someone else. Yeah. God bless you. Bye y'all.